What's going on, guys? This is track two, Genesis Abacab, no reply at all, right? And this was the second single off of the album. No Reply at All is a rhythm and blues style track that features the phoenix horns of the American band Earth, Wind & Fire. This marks the first instance of Genesis using outside musicians for one of their tracks since the string section was used on their de debut album from Genesis to Revelation in 1969. Oh, that's a, I like that title actually. The band wanted to emulate the brass keyboard sounds that was used on some parts on Duke and Collins had used the phoenix horns on face value and suggested, suggested to Banks and Rutherford that they use them for the track. Collins thought the horns was a good move to suddenly jar people and take them off automatic pilot. And from the predictable ideas they had considered Genesis to be. Their involvement created some initial reservations from Banks, but he grew to enjoy the track. By the time it was complete, in rehearsal, Banks played a drum machine while Rutherford and Collins played a guitar and drum part, respectively and played until they found ideas and sequences that worked. Collins had the idea of writing a song that the Jackson 5 would have wanted to record and direct the band in a direction that they never had before. Collins wrote the lyrics. Okay, there we go. All right, let's check it out. Here we go, no reply at all, bam.
there's a lot happening rhythmically. There's a lot of just stuff to pick out, which makes it interesting and keeps you right here. And I, you know how I like that. Yeah, that was actually pretty cool. Dig it. Wow. Yeah, they use the horns just to accent different things. Um, and the horns and the bass played a lot together, actually. The, the, there was no like straight up bass line, really. It was very melodic, very melodic part. I like the melody also. The melody is really nice, too. Yeah, I, I like it, actually. Dig it. I think I like that one better than the first one, I think. The first one was cool, but I think I like this one better than... I think I like this one better, actually. Hmm. Yeah, I'm very interested to hear the rest of this album now. Yeah, this is a different vocal performance than uh, Abacab. Abacab was really like a strong vocal performance. Not that this wasn't, but the other song made me say Phil Collins can sing. <laughs> this song, not that it makes me think he can't sing, but it's it just didn't have that extra bit in there that that made it uh it was a little bit more about the song this this track was a little bit more about the song and maybe and the arrangement for me as opposed to the other song anyways very interesting yeah i like this one it's almost uh it's almost unassuming there's a lot going on in there yeah there's a lot to pick out on first listen on that there was, there was a lot going on on there. I'm sure that there's like all these other background parts that I, that I, that are there, and I can tell they're there. But there's so many other things to listen to. There's the the main melody. Then there's like all the other melodic stuff, like that the bass is doing, to kind of latch on to. There's a lot. There's a lot there. There's a lot there on this track, actually. Yeah, I like it. Dig it. Cool. All right, up next, next track, me and Sarah Jane, which I think they mentioned, but I'll, I'll get to it. I'll catch you then. Later. <laughs> 